एंड्रॉइड सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्ट में वी विल जस्ट रिलीज इनटू द फर्स्ट सेशन लाइक व्हाट वी स्टार्टेड विद वी वन मेड सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्ट सो वी वी सेड दैट बेसिक प्रोजेक्ट्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एंड्रॉइड सिस्टम्स टेस्टिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ द बेसिक्स ऑफ एंड्रॉइड सिस्टम्स सच एज नेक्स्ट कंट्रोलर नॉलेज the uh, integrated development environment debugging and uh, interfacing with devices uh, etc also we had looked into the marketing drivers uh, for the embed software testing mm, so one of the key marketing drivers for uh, embed software needs to be reliable and predictable and uh, testing accounts for uh, more than half the or or the cost of the development of the main software uh, and uh, the best way to understand a complex embedded system is to test it so these are some of the key drivers uh, on the map so also we had a uh, uh, look into course objectives uh, which is the uh, embedded software testing and its relationship uh, dynamic and core uh, testing uh, test defect uh, test management and the test process and the job proficiency foundation on embed software testing perspective of a tester for the embed software product in mbmd test case design verification strategy effective test management and the test process learning outcomes uh, as per uh, concepts of uh, embed software testing uh, test life cycle we model Uh, different types or methods of testing, uh, static analysis and uh, matrix, top-down approach, bottom-up approach for integration, test management, defect management, and configuration. These are the learning outcomes. Uh, then we had an introduction uh, on different sessions how we are going to organize this uh, series of lectures. Uh, 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 we will start the uh, continuation of the first uh, lecture session which we have started in last time. Uh, that is the session one uh, introduces uh, embedded systems, the basic fundamentals about testing, software testing, and the uh, different methods. The resources uh, what we said is uh, embedded system uh, or embedded software uh, basics and programming. Uh, the first we are good the next we are uh, on the top of the question it can be referred and it can be used in terms of development of this course okay so we will uh, continue the session what we had begun last time uh, okay embedded software testing what is testing uh, it is a ieee definition uh, if they had given here uh, this is uh, applicable of uh, any of the testing uh, especially the software testing doesn't matter embedded or non embedded uh, of course embedded uh, emphasizes this uh, phrase testing is the process of exercising or evaluating a system or system component by manual or automated means to verify that it satisfies the specified requirements so what it means is uh, uh, testing is a process it has many things so those things are all coming into the process so what does the process does this it exercises or evaluates a certain system or a system component or a sub system by Uh, different means. Uh, those means could be automated means or manual means, uh, uh, which will verify uh, to make sure that it satisfies the uh, given set of requirements. Uh, manual and automated tests uh, we will uh, explain later stages uh, when we take up the different uh, test methods. So this is the IEEE definition of uh, testing. there are uh, other definitions uh, as well in the website uh, which have been uh, referred for for the testing 
Software testing is an integral part of the software development life cycle. Uh, here, software development life cycle includes uh, uh, development as well as testing. This has uh, planning, uh, design, uh, implementation, testing, reporting. So, that is what software development life cycle means. So, the integral part. Testing is a process of uh, executing a program with the intent of finding error. A good test case is one that has a high probability of finding an error. A successful, sorry, a successful test case is one that detects an as it undiscovered error. So, a test case uh, aim is to detect uh, any undiscovered error for that particular functionality or the environment. These are some of the definitions of this testing. Okay, role of system. Here, uh, testing has uh, two primary aspects. One is uh, verification, other one is validation. Typically, it is called in the industry as VND. So verification is uh, are we doing things correctly? Validation is uh, are we doing the correct thing? So, uh, that is the basic uh, uh, understanding of VND. Verification means are we doing things right? Validation means are we doing the right things? Uh, then, secondary uh, roles of uh, testing uh, are determine whether the system meets the specification, uh, that means uh, whether uh, uh, the intended behavior of the system uh, is being uh, implied within the embedded system, that means uh, the embedded system meets the specification. What it is intended to do, then uh, impart the confidence of the system under test. Uh, bring in uh, the confidence of the system whether uh, it is uh, uh, working uh, as per the expectation, it can be deployed onto the uh, market or to the user, or it can be fed to the field, or, or it can be delivered or released. So, uh, the testing brings up the confidence of the system under that. It also provides an insight into the software development process. By doing the testing, we will unleash the some of the embedded software parts in terms of how it has been developed. I mean, the various analyses or the test failures or the test paths. We will uncover some of the issues or the problems that would have come across during the software development process. The software development process could be the planning, even implementation, reviews, etc. Okay, so why we need to test it? There is a question if a proper planning design. Implementation is done for a embedded system. Uh, why the question of testing? Of course, uh, testing is uh, mandatory in terms of uh, industrial uh, uh, practice. Uh, why? Because uh, uh, there are the chances that uh, developers could do oversight of the uh, implementation or design or requirement. So, this testing will uncover that. Certain bugs uh, are easier to find uh, in testing. It need not be uh, found during uh, implementation, or implementation may not be enough to find out the bugs. So those things will be found out during testing. And uh, of course, uh, post release debugging itself, uh, we cannot uh, deliver the product after the implementation right away. Needs to be definitely tested. Uh, we cannot afford to have a debugging. It will be very expensive without testing. But in development tools such as compiler, library, or any of the uh, implementation or coding uh, phase that we use uh, could have some issues or bugs. So that needs to be uh, tested. Uh, that will come out as an uh, issue or bug. Uh, while doing the testing, and uh, best way to understand uh, and present the product to the uh, market or report 
itu tes cukup and report tesnya pas so obviously uh, customer or uh, the quality team or uh, the organization will be uh, very much enthusiastic uh, in terms of reporting a uh, product as a uh, defect free or pass so uh, the best way to do it uh, do a test and report it and uh, we cannot afford uh, to have customers reporting uh, uh, problems or defects of the product so avoid the customers detecting the defect this thing is challenging and rewarding so uh, it is uh, equally as good as uh, implementation uh, i would suggest a uh, typical uh, uh, industry and trend to start with test so that uh, a good tester uh, can be effective developer as well Uh, effective implementer as well. So this thing is really challenging and hard. So that is why we need it. Uh, these are some of the metrics uh, that is uh, used in the industry uh, in terms of uh, what is the cost uh, uh, of a a great software defect. Uh, in this chart, you can see uh, the cost uh, in terms of percentage and the uh, Uh, vertical axis in the horizontal uh, axis uh, I have put uh, the different phases of uh, uh, software product. Uh, like we have requirements, we have design, coding, testing, and prioritization. Prioritization could be maintenance as well. So across these phases, uh, if we found uh, defects, so what is the cost? If we find a problem during the requirement before uh, we actually realize the product. Cost will be less. Accordingly, a design will have a lesser and lesser cost compared to coding. Uh, similarly, testing and production. So, as the uh, the process uh, goes by, the cost of the defect will be higher. Uh, some of the key process elements uh, for embedded software testing. Uh, in this slide, I have put uh, the Three main elements uh, that are required uh, in order to do a software testing. Uh, basically, this is uh, this will all fall into a process. So we need to have uh, a planning document. The planning document uh, is a very vital input. So the the documents are the development, verification, and contribution plan. So this will talk about uh, what is the uh, Going to be my verification plan. What is going to be my configuration plan? So, what is the development uh, environment I am going to use? So, all this will be uh, laid out in the planning phase. Uh, so, this is one of the very important uh, input for the uh, testing, especially the embedded software testing that is being uh, followed in the industry. Uh, next is the technical inputs. Uh, System uh, requirement document, software requirement specification, software design document, code, test case and test procedure, and of course the results. Uh, why I have put results is uh, testing uh, incomplete uh, uh, means which has everything right from the uh, input documents that is being provided for tester and the way how he is going to report as a Uh, report using the results. So these are some of the technical input to say that uh, the product is software tested. The next thing is uh, guidelines and standards. These are of course uh, the different uh, uh, inputs that are uh, needed uh, for embedded software testing. They are uh, software testing standards and guidelines. Uh, uh, what sort of a Testing standards I need to have. Uh, for example, if you take up uh, automotive, uh, you have ISO standards that is being followed. For uh, aerospace, they follow D1 standard D or 2167A, uh, for example. That has uh, its own uh, inline uh, process uh, and standard for software testing. That needs to be uh, followed. Uh, also, review guidelines uh, are uh, being uh, used. Uh, this will help in uh, how a product or uh, the different uh, phases of uh, software testing 
I will be derivable. So this is also one of the important uh, element of the MS software system. Uh, it will be used across uh, process of the software system. Uh, we will uh, touch upon uh, some of the test process uh, uh, they are uh, test planning, uh, uh, test specification, test execution, test coverage and reporting. So uh, this is the basic definition of the uh, I mean uh, the process that needs to be defined for uh, these are the test various tests that will be uh, used. So, uh, we need to define a testing process for the uh, four elements, the basic element, uh, test planning, like I just said, uh, test, uh, whatever the test we are going to conduct on the embedded software needs to be planned. So the test planning will have uh, what sort of a test case uh, uh, I am going to develop, how test cases will be designed, how the coverage is going to be uh, reported, and uh, what will be my test environment. Uh, this uh, what is the tool? What are the costs of the tool? Uh, this will be part of the test planning. Uh, next will be the test specification. Uh, test specification uh, will have uh, different documents altogether: test cases, test procedure, and test environment. So this will be part of the test specification. Uh, the next process will be the test execution. So, what are the methods that is going to be used uh, uh, in terms of test execution? Uh, it could be manual, uh, it could be automated. This is purely from the test perspective, uh, test execution perspective, uh, like how I am going to execute it. We will detail out uh, during the next session so of all these uh, process. Final uh, process uh, definition is the uh, test coverage and reporting. Uh, like so once we are done with the test execution, so we need to develop a matrix uh, in terms of coverage, uh, like how much of the requirements or the functionality uh, have been passed, how many have been failed, and uh, if there are failures that can be justified uh, at the system level, uh, those needs to be reported. So the reporting needs to be evidenced with the test logs and uh, execution outputs. This will be some of the test process. Uh, coming to test methods, uh, the complete uh, embedded software testing uh, fall into uh, different levels, uh, different test methods. So they are acceptance testing, that is the user level. Uh, this is uh, required for uh, uh, delivering the product. Uh, I mean, for a user, he will look from this perspective, the requirement basically, whether all the requirements have been uh, implemented into the embedded software or not. So that level uh, testing will be done at the user uh, acceptance testing. It is also called as uh, UAT, user acceptance testing or acceptance testing. The next one is the system testing. Uh, this covers up uh, all the functional as well as the non-functional aspects of the embedded software. Here, uh, Functional and non-functional means. Functional means so what are the functionalities uh, that that particular product needs to uh, exercise, or uh, all the functionalities of that. Non-functional uh, aspects are uh, something like uh, uh, how much memory it is using, how much uh, uh, performance, uh, what is the speed, uh, some of the background uh, information that is being used. Is all uh, fall under uh, non functional value. So, this is done at the system level, system level as a black box, mostly at a black box. I will explain uh, at a later stage what is black box, what is white box, etc. So, I suggest uh, not to get uh, bothered at this moment because uh, this uh, session uh, is only the introductory uh, session. Uh, it is just uh, Defining uh, some of the uh, key elements of the embedded software. Okay. So the next one is uh, integration testing. So as I said, I think I have explained. Uh, I mean, I read the in my previous lecture about this. Uh, integration could be uh, integration of different software modules uh, within themselves or 
deviation of the software model onto the target that is hardware and uh, there are uh, uh, various approaches but we, we will study on uh, two approaches that is generally called top down as well as uh, bottom up uh, integration. The last one is uh, compound testing uh, or unit testing uh, this is uh, being exercised at a low level that means uh, when you take up a embedded software uh, as a product there are uh, different uh, unit level functionalities that needs to be uh, implemented those units uh, will be under focus uh, during this testing that is the component the component could be a set of one function or two function or three function so all the function or all the units we call it as unit uh, all the units will be uh, tested at this level that is called the component so these are the four uh, basic levels of uh, test method uh, that are being uh, used uh, in the software testing. And uh, during next uh, sessions, uh, we will uh, detail out about acceptance testing, system testing, integration, compound testing, etc.